Now, I am really looking forward to this. Hopefully, it will come sooner than later. This article alludes to thousand layer memory chips by the year 2027. Maybe you'll see like a 20 terabyte drive that would be 300 bucks or so. This article also is about this. Uh, I will link you to both of these articles if you want to check out more information on these new and upcoming thousand layer memory chips. Now, this is still in the works, so to speak, but uh, I'm sure they'll get there. And if this is not invented, something else will be invented or, you know, some other new technology will come up. And I've been looking forward to this, honestly, for a very long time, because if you still want a massive drive at a decent cost, you have to go to a mechanical drive. I have a Western Digital. It's a two terabyte drive. It's fast. It's quick. It's not enough storage, though. I just use it for really gaming. And, you know, it's good, but I would like to have certainly, you know, 10 terabytes or 20 terabytes. Uh, but with these, with these thousand layer memory chips, you'll have capacities, they're saying maybe petabytes. So that's a thousand terabytes or a million gigabytes. That's a hell of a lot of storage. But, you know, if you can get a drive like even 10 terabytes for like 150, 200 bucks, that will be spectacular. But with greedflation, I don't think that's going to happen, right? Unless we get a total reset on everything going on. What are your thoughts on these thousand layer memory chips? Please let us all know in the comments down below. And um, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.